With just a couple clicks, you can turn your rough melody ideas into beautiful sounding inflections. Instantly add new drip to your sound, or maybe you can get intricate to create that perfect. I think you have a hit on your hands. This can be applied to all melodies and vocals. People are just gonna start to throw it on every melody that they have just to add a little bit of sauce to it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It reminds me of like a guitar pedal. I think it's very utilitarian. This is such a Simon Servita plugin. Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to show you the complete process on how I made my first plugin, Retrograde. Another word for backwards or reverse is retrograde. And the word retrograde is usually associated with space stuff. Uh, a Mercury retrograde mode. Welcome back to Kevin Savage TV. My name is Kevin Savage. And today we are going to talk about a new pandemic, in my opinion, that is sweeping the music production community. So we have these music production influencers that we've looked up to for years to learn kind of our skills. We've built our skills on watching their videos, learning about them, getting a, getting inspired by their background. And they've built a lot of this trust with their community. So much so that these influencers, any doesn't matter what they say, it's taken as as law. These music production influencers started off by just releasing educational content. And then maybe they moved on to releasing sample packs, right? Which for better or for worse could are of value and usually they weren't terribly expensive and if they were no one bought them. And then they shifted into courses which I get it, right? You're already an educator and now you are teaching courses and selling your courses. It's kind of, it, it just makes sense that that kind of that trajectory, that pipeline of, of YouTube videos to courses. But now there is a brand new pandemic. And to me, it's even more insidious. These music influencers releasing their own plugins. Now you might be one saying, well, uh, Kevin Savage, you've released your own like effect racks. Sure. I've done it for free. I created something. I use it. I like it. It's unique in some sort of way, at least to me, uh, I haven't found something similar. And so I release it for free. Or the only thing that I expect back is a subscribe to my channel or I don't know, like a follow of my like Spotify or, or, or something to that extent. And, and to be honest, you could always turn around and unfollow me, unsubscribe me if you wanted to. Like, I'm not going to stop you. I haven't taken any money from you. That's the difference. I haven't taken any money from you. And sure, some of these plugins, there is no money being asked a lot. Sometimes these folks um, release like a dumb, dumbed down version of the plugin for no money at all. Um, I know Cymatics has done that, but in many cases, in many cases, these plugins are stupid expensive. Drip, dr you've already seen probably my video on Drip, and if you haven't, check it out. Um, the whole two clicks and it's perfect. Um, you know, I jumped on that same bandwagon to roast Kyle Beats, but you know, we have these plugins that are being sold from anywhere from like 50 to a hundred dollars, uh, drip, I believe retrograde, which is a Simon Ser Servita, a Servita plugin beat set knock. Listen, I love the content that, um, that is that these people release and their educational content. I find it super useful, but I'll tell you what. A lot of the times these plugins are not worth the price point that they're charging. And most of these plugins, you can find comparable stuff. If you just spent the time inside your DAW learning about those free or those plugins that come with your DAW, you can create the same effect that drip, retrograde, knock, etc. do. And in some cases, like I get it, retrograde, it does something semi-unique where it basically reverses and then also organizes it in the um, order in which the original sample is played. I get it. I think there's some of these, um, some of these plugins 
I'm a little bit more favorable for, towards, but a lot of times it comes down to, in my opinion, it's not worth the price. And the, the folks, when I then challenge that, they tell me, oh yeah, well, we had to all do all this research and all this work and da, 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 da. That's why we're justifying the price point. It's like, all right, I guess, but I don't feel like you're offering enough value for it to be worth the price point that you are trying to charge. So this is going to be a new series that I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through a couple of uh, plugins. In many cases, this is similar to other, um, like Snake Oil. I know Weaver Beats does um, plugin police. So I'm going to look at this, what I'm considering kind of a new pandemic, which is the influencers shifting into the plugin creation space. And I'm mostly focused in on the influencer created plugins. Drip, retrograde, Knock, Beat Timer, Midi Duck, I think is another one. Um, all of, you know, Busy Works has his own name on some plugins. So I'm going to look at these and um, I'm going to tell you what I think about these plugins, whether or not I think it's worth any money at all, whether or not I think it's worth maybe buying and give you my take on these plugins. And I hope that it's helpful. I hope it's educational. I am pushing back on these influencers. So, you know, um, I expect to get some negative um, feedback from fans or these um, influencers themselves, but recognize that I'm just trying to give you, I, half the time I'm spending my own money to buy these plugins, right? I'm not just, I'm not just downloading them illegally. I'm not just being given them. In some cases with retrograde, I was given it by, um, Simon Servita. Um, but a lot of the times, like for example, knock, I'm paying the hundred dollars to buy it. Right. Um, mini duck, I paid a, a discounted price, but I paid, you know, 18 bucks for it, even though it's $35, um, as part of like an upsell. So I am giving you my unbiased opinion on these plugins. If I think they're good, I'll tell you. If I think they suck, I'll tell you. If I think they're all right, I'll tell you. So, you know, check out these videos. I'll be releasing them as I go through these plugins. So I really hope that it is a value for you. So stay tuned for those videos. Peace.